My name's Janine and we're here another beautiful day in Byron Bay. I can't believe how many beautiful days we have here. Um, today I've got a friend Jen with me. Hi Jen. Hi. How are you today? Really good. <laughs> Jen has just been for a swim across the bay here in Byron. So we've got a main beach which is quite a long stretch of beach here. And do you do the swim across the bay every day? I do the swim across the bay every day, <laughs> summer and winter. Oh. So all year, se seven days a week if I can, yeah. usually five or six, yeah. but I try for seven. She's still in her swimmers, she's so got her goggles, got goggles in her hand. Got my goggles. <laughs> <laughs> That's brilliant. So uh, in winter, do you have to wear a stinger suit or a little rashy? A little or? wet, I, I wear, because I'm a bit of a, um, a coward, <laughs> I wear a very thin wetsuit. Yeah. So it's one mil. One mil. A lot of the people don't don't yeah. wear um, a wetsuit at all and they brave it out all yeah. through, all through uh, winter. Because it does get cold here, like it's Australia yeah. and people have the yeah. idea that oh it's so hot all year round but sometimes it actually it gets a bit cold doesn't it? Actually I live on a, in a, on a farm ah. up in the hills behind Byron Bay okay. and because we're sort of 700 feet up yeah. it gets quite cold. Yeah, so um, we have, a, the days are beautiful yeah. but the nights we have to have a fire ah. and some mornings when we drive down here to, to come and do the swim yeah. We drive down the hill, <laughs> and as you go down, it gets colder, and it, it can be two or three degrees. And then we're coming in, and we're going to get up to five or six. That's a huge difference. It's, it's a big difference. Yeah. And so in winter, it can actually be quite, it can actually be quite um, cold. Yeah. But the days are warm yeah. if, you, if you keep out of the wind. Yeah. So but believe it or not, we need jumpers, beanies, yeah. Yeah. scarves, boots. Pants, like they, we all need those things. You need yeah. layers. Yeah, you need to be able to take a jacket off yeah. and have a cardigan underneath yeah. and then take the cardigan off and just yeah. have a t-shirt. Yeah. <laughs> so depending on the wind or yeah. whether you're in the sun or not. Yeah. Yeah. How, sure. how many people meet every morning to do the swim? Oh, how many people meet to do the swim? Ooh, it, it varies. Through the week we get 20, 30, 40 a day. All together. All together. But on Saturdays it gets you get up to 70. Up on Sundays you get up to 100. Wow. <laughs> and lots of people, because people work, oh, some poor people have to work in the day. Yeah. Oh, I'm poor retired, guys. sorry. <laughs> Those <laughs> poor people that have jobs. Poor people who have jobs. <laughs> Not me anymore. Yes. Um, so uh, we all meet at about 10, 10 to 8 in the morning. We meet on the deck of the um, the club over there. So there's a surf a club that's on Main Beach and yep. it overlooks all the beach and it's an incredible place. So and, and lots of weddings and things happen there. Ah, oh, nice. But, uh, we so get, you never know what you're going to get each time you turn up. Sometimes we turn up and they're setting up for a wedding oh. and we go, ooh, this is interesting. <laughs> um, so we meet at about 10 to 8 and at 8 o'clock we all walk off and we walk all the way around. It takes about 20 minutes mm -hmm. to walk around the whole beach. Yep and then you, you sort of look for someone who swims at the same pace yeah. and we dive in and we, nice. it takes sort of 20 or 30 minutes coming back depending on the current yeah. because Byron is a bay so there's a current that pushes you around the bay so it depends whether there's a, a current or not yeah. and then we come back and we go and get changed and then we wander over to the pub and we have a coffee oh, <laughs> and about, about, about 10 o'clock you go oh I really should get stuck in my day <laughs> But it's a really lovely thing to do because anyone can join. So if yeah. you're a visitor, you just go onto that, go go to the surf club at five to eight. And if you're a swimmer, you, you can wear flippers. You don't have to be a good swimmer. Yeah. Goggles, yeah. snorkel and goggles. If you yeah. want to look at the fish, there's lots of fish to look at. Yeah. And turtles. Sometimes we come out and we say, oh, I saw, I saw five turtles today. Yeah. Oh, this was a two turtle swim. Yeah. But it, it gives you that feeling of belonging to a community it, it gives you a sense of belonging to a group definitely it's a really really lovely thing to do so we yeah. have visitors who come from overseas and they join the group every year and yeah. then they go back home yeah. and then they come back again and they've become yeah. friends and they know that when they turn up they're going to see people yeah. that they saw a year yeah. ago and say hey I'm back here again yeah we say oh 
it back. Yeah. Come for, swim with me. Because yeah. you know? sometimes that's the problem when you're traveling. You lose a little bit of that sense of community and you feel a little bit lost sometimes. Yes. Nobody knows me. I'm anonymous. Like, I don't have people around me. So it's such a beautiful thing to yes. be able to see people again. The swim group here is perfect. Great friendship. We had a party last night. <laughs> we had seven, no, seven people turning 70. Oh. And they and the surf club yeah. let us use the surf club. Oh, that's so good. We had a rock band. <laughs> <laughs> Seven seventies and a rock band. Yeah, but we all had to go by nine o'clock. <laughs> nine p.m. It started at five, and at nine o'clock it was finished. <laughs> are they mainly oh, retirees for me, or are they people from all oh, ages? Oh no, you get the people who swim are more slightly older group. Yeah, but um, a lot of health fitness people so we've got a lot of people who swim with us who also ride bikes so they belong to bike clubs or walking clubs yeah. and they come and swim as well a lot of people who walk to the lighthouse and back that's a really good fitness thing keeps you fit there's, there's a lighthouse right at the end of the cape here in Byron and it's like there's lots of stairs and beautiful views and you go up there it's like maybe if you're walking at a reasonable yes. pace an hour? An hour to an hour. Up and down? An hour and a quarter. An hour and a quarter yeah, there and 720 back. steps oh. up and back. Wow. You've counted them. I've done it many <laughs> times. So, yeah, but really good for fitness. Yeah. It's better to do two to do two exercises than one. Yeah. So if you ju just swim, then you get swimming fitness. Yeah. But if you swim and bike ride, or you swim and walk, it helps both your fitnesses. Yeah. yeah. You, get, you get fitter much better. Yeah. That's good. I like that. I don't want to live anywhere else in the world. No. Well, how long so, have you been living in the area? Oh, uh, I came up here when I was 29, and I'm now 61, coming up to 62. Local legend, right but, here. So both my children were born here, so they're locals. I'm almost a local. Oh, <laughs> I think you are a local. But when, <laughs> I class myself as a local. I've been here three years. Oh, like, three years. You know, <laughs> you, you have to. I think once you're in the community, yes. you've got a lot of friends, you've established yes. your roots, nowhere else feels like home. That is your identity now, you're, you're local, you feel this at home, you're comfortable. I think I'm biased, but I think Byron is a very different place. So, I mean, I've worked with a lot of country towns throughout Australia. I used to go and work with country people. And Byron is very different. Yeah. It's very cosmopolitan. Yeah. It's, it's like, um, I came from Sydney originally. Yeah. And this is like a very, very nice suburb of Sydney. So, ah. you know, it's quite upmarket. Yeah, for a, for a, a, I mean, not when I first came here. When I first came here, it was, it was just a little country, country seaside village. But do you think the cosmopolitanness of Byron is because of um, the people now that come here, or the prices of like eating at a restaurant? It's prices ridiculous. are awful. awful. Um, supermarkets, yeah. seasonal, yeah. alcohol, yeah. everything is expensive in this place. It is expensive because it's geared towards tourism. Yeah. And as a local, that's what we just have to put up there. Exactly. For living in paradise. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> You always do though, if you live in an amazing place, you know that people are always going to be coming and going and it's just what you, you deal with there. Yeah. And it's beautiful because yeah. then this happens yeah, and it's that's amazing. Right. So come to Byron. Yeah, we'll see you soon in Byron at the, at the surf club in at the morning. At the surf club, yeah. Look for me, Jen. Yeah. Well don't forget about Jen guys, she's going to be there swimming every day. You can go and see her and join the swim club. Yep. Um, Thanks for talking to me today, Jen. It was Lovely. amazing. Thank you. Um, if you guys want to watch this video, other videos, you can go to www.g'dayfromaustralia.com. You can download the transcription. You can watch other videos, see exactly what we've said. And, um, yeah, have a beautiful day. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye. Strike overheads